When people think about health, they often think about physical things like sleep and exercise. But looking after yourself mentally is just as important. When you're well physically and mentally, you're happier, you fall sick less, and you perform better, and you're more effective. In this video, we discuss three things to work on to improve your mental health. Taking breaks, being grateful, and using your strengths. If you don't want to work on all three at once, pick one for now and do the others later. The main thing is getting started. Let's talk about breaks. Our brains need regular breaks to continue to work hard and work well. Take a break every two hours, or even every hour if you're concentrating really hard. Take at least half an hour for lunch. Whether you notice it or not, your productivity and creativity drop off if you don't take breaks. That means you do less work in the same amount of time and aren't as good at solving problems. If you stop for lunch, your productivity in the afternoon more than makes up for the break. Also, your brain quietly works on problems when you're not actually concentrating on them. But we don't just need breaks during work hours. We also need to make sure we don't work too many hours. Research shows working 36 hours a week is ideal. That's about seven hours a day. Working longer reduces our productivity and increases the chances of burnout. The second area for good mental health is gratitude. People tend to think negative thoughts. Studies show that around 80% of our thoughts each day are negative, and 88% of those thoughts are worrying about things that don't happen. Fortunately, people can change the way their brains work. One way is doing a gratitude exercise to help you think more realistically. Over time, you'll be able to better manage your thought processes. Before you go to bed, think about the three things that happened that day that you're grateful for and what caused them to happen. Here's how to do the exercise. Be specific. What happened? Who was involved? Saying, I'm grateful that Chris helped me solve the problem that was driving me up the wall, instead of, I'm grateful for supportive colleagues. Go into more detail about three things instead of listing as many things as possible. Focus on people you're grateful for, as well as things. Appreciate what you have. If you can't think of anything to be grateful for, try imagining life without someone or something. Appreciate surprises, the good things that you weren't expecting and appreciate what didn't happen, like near misses. Do the exercise every night for two weeks to help you notice what's going right. After two weeks, just do the exercise when you find yourself thinking negative thoughts. For example, do it when you think you've had a bad day to put things into perspective. You don't have to write down your thoughts after the two weeks, just stop and think about what has gone right. The last thing we'll discuss today is your strengths. When people want to improve, they tend to work on their weaknesses, but people who focus on their strengths improve twice as much as those who focus on their weaknesses. If you work on your weaknesses, you're doing things you're not naturally good at. Your brain has to work harder, you feel less happy after three months, and you're likely to be sicker and less productive. And often, the weaknesses we focus on are not critical for making us more effective. So look at your strengths instead. If you don't know what they are, try answering these questions. What do you do well? When are you most productive? What skills or traits do you use when you do those things? What have you done that you're proud of? What skills or traits did you use then? And what good feedback have you received? So perhaps you're really good at motivating people or really good at anticipating customer needs. That could mean that you're good at organizing things or at finding ways to keep everyone happy. Don't be afraid to ask others what they think you do well. Your friends, family, colleagues, and people in your network will have an idea. Ask them, what do you think I do really well? Once you've identified four to five strengths, make a point to use a different one each day. Do this every day for five days, either at work or at home. Using your skills in a new way is also important. Give yourself time to think about how you can do this. For example, can you use one of your strengths to solve a problem? When you do that, notice what happens. Doing this for a week makes you more aware of your strengths. You can then use them deliberately when you face difficult situations or tasks. For example, I'll use my strengths of organization and people management to tackle this task. You'll see significant health benefits after three months when you do this exercise. You'll feel happier, less stressed, and have greater self-esteem. And those are the main areas we suggest you work on to improve your mental health. Take breaks, do the gratitude exercise, and use your strengths in new ways. So what will you do today to improve in one or more of these areas? 
Download our Looking After You Mentally file on this page to record your grateful thoughts and ways you're using your strengths. To check on your progress, you could set yourself a weekly reminder. You could also find an accountability partner, someone you can talk to about your progress. Do the check-ins on this page too to see what you know about looking after yourself and to get more tips.